Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. We give you praise. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Rohan Lewis. Welcome again to another episode of Gospel Faith TV. It is a new season and it's a new day. And we're here today with Corden Barrett from the Heavy Unit production line. He'll be singing to us. And as he sings to you, enjoy today's worship. May God bless you richly. And don't forget, it is your season.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. And I am, I'm so glad that you're watching today on Gospel Faith TV. Awesome is his name. Wonderful is his power. And we're here today to declare that you are in a new season if you're watching today just know that whatever you're going through the Lord's hand is on you and as we bring on our speaker today his name is Bishop Devon Eccles from the house of praise be blessed today as we take the gospel to the world be blessed bless the name of Jesus hallelujah truly this is the year that i breathe hallelujah we give god the praise amen it's a pleasure to be here with you this afternoon we give god the glory what a wonderful savior is jesus my lord what a wonderful savior he is to me tonight i just want to give him all the glory amen thank you for tuning in thank you for being this way today it is truly a new season we are in a new season for our life, a time that we have never seen or established before, but we give God the praise anyhow. Amen. Amen. I really want to just commend my brother, wonderful singing and playing tonight. And we are here live and in living color. Hallelujah. Gospel Faith TV. Amen. An amazing thing that is happening in the city this evening. Amen. And so my assignment today is really just to bring a word from the Lord. And so I want you to, amen, tune in with me this evening as we get ready to hear what God has to say in this new season of our lives. Amen. So God will richly bless you. My assignment today takes us in the book of Deuteronomy. Um, chapter number two verses one through three and we look into the word of the Lord tonight and it reads as thus then we turn and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea and the Lord spoke unto me and we compassed Mount Seir many days verse two and the Lord spoke unto me saying you have compassed this mountain long enough turn e not words you have compassed this mountain long enough turn e not words father we give you glory and honor and praise tonight we pray that preaching become easy we pray father god that somebody will be blessed be challenged be lifted up in their spirit as we enter into a new season of our life we are so grateful hallelujah for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, God. And you have kept us alive through all this pandemic. And God, we are about to enter in, into a new season. We pray that you will bless us in Jesus' wonderful and mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you, if I can, a little bit tonight on the topic, a turnaround. A turnaround. Hallelujah. A turnaround. I, 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 I come here today with a word in my spirit that the Lord has placed in there. And that word is change. It's the change that is coming in our direction. Whether we agree with it or not, whether we want to receive it or not, it makes no different change is coming. We don't have the way to stop change. Change is on its way. I'm hearing God saying things are about to change. 
there's a, a major change that's about to take place in our world, in our society, and in our lives. Hallelujah. He said to tell my people change is coming. Major shift is on its way. Change is in the air. Hallelujah. We are in a season of change. The question is, it's not that there is a change. The question is, what that change is going to mean for you and for me? It's going to be a change for good or bad. All of that is up to you. But the word of the Lord says, you have been in this place long enough i don't know about you tonight but it's been like 14 months since we've been in this pandemic but i believe this is a new season i believe that we are coming out of this thing and we are coming out amen in just a short order in the name of the lord hallelujah in other words you've been in a life cycle for such a long time in a situation amen for such a long time hallelujah and i want to declare tonight that it's long enough if you agree with me tonight you can say it wherever you are and you can say it is long enough hallelujah it may be a financial situation amen it might be a relationship situation it may be an emotional situation it might be a family situation hallelujah it doesn't matter what the situation is change is coming hallelujah you might be in a physical situation you're struggling with your health especially during this pandemic time you may be amen in a, in a, in a, in a, in a spiritual life is out of line something doesn't seem to be right your walk with god has been challenged hallelujah you're experiencing something but whatever it is God said to tell you amen it's time for a change and so tonight I want you to understand and hear me tonight that when change comes, we have to embrace change some people don't like change because of what change brings in their life but I wonder if there anybody listening to me or watching to me right now. Amen. Is getting ready for a change in their life. Hallelujah. Is there anybody that's sick and tired of being sick and tired? Is there anybody fed up with their present situation? Is there anybody, hallelujah, ready to break the cycle of death? Whatever you're going through tonight. Is there anybody ready to come out of this thing? Ready to break the cycle of sickness? To break the cycle of depression? To break the cycle of death? Come on, talk back to me if you can tonight. If you are ready tonight i want you to tune in hear me real good don't touch that dial don't change the settings no matter what you do because god has a word for you i'm talking to somebody tonight hallelujah is going through something and you've been going around the same problem every single day day after day you're going through it this is not just a covid thing amen this become a lifestyle thing it's an everyday thing to somebody because we keep going around the same mountain but I hear God said to tell you tonight that change is on the way God said you have come past this mountain long enough whatever that mountain is you've been going around it long enough I don't care what the mountain is you can give it whatever names you choose but you've been going around it long enough I come by to tell somebody tonight hallelujah your change is on the way if you're sitting beside somebody standing beside somebody amen if you're with a neighbor that said to the neighbor enough is enough now i want you to tell that neighbor, that devil i've had enough you need to open up your mouth and declare because bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat the fruit thereof or whatever you decree it shall be established i want you to open your mouth and tell the devil i've had enough of hell in my life you have to tell him i've had enough fear and confusion i've had enough disagreement in my life i've had enough love in my life I've had enough disappointment in my life I've had enough rejection and betrayal in my life I've had enough misery I've had enough of COVID-19 is there anybody I'm talking to tonight I've had enough of COVID-19 it's been around too long too long too long it's time for me to go I've had enough shame somebody shout I'm ready for change come on open your mouth and say I'm ready for change I'm ready for a turnaround amen is anybody ready for a turnaround wave your hands wherever you are and say I'm ready for for a turn around or oh, give him praise and give him glory I don't know who God sent me to talk to tonight uh, and to preach to tonight but somebody hallelujah needs a turn around in their spirit uh, somebody needs a turn around today and uh, you need it you don't need it next week or next month you need it right now you need a turn around right now somebody's facing a situation that seems hopeless that seems impossible amen hallelujah it seems like it's out of your hands somebody amen is in a legal situation hallelujah and you need God to move and you 
you need God to move right now. It might even be an immigration problem. I hear it in my spirit that somebody watching me right now is dealing with an immigration issue. And if God don't intervene, something's going to happen. But you are under understand tonight that change is coming in your direction. I prophesy change in your life tonight. In the name of Jesus, somebody needs a miracle in your situation. You have done everything you know how to do. But instead of things getting better, it seems like things are getting worse. Somebody standing, hallelujah, in the gap for your child and for your children. And if God don't step in, amen, they're going to be in a very big trouble. But hallelujah, but I come by to remind you tonight that we serve a God of turnaround. I said we serve a God of turnaround. The Bible is full of God turning things around. From Genesis to Revelation, we see God turning things around. And he's getting ready to turn some things around in your life tonight. Because it's a season of change. It's a new season season a season of power a season of victory it's in that new season tonight give him praise and give him glory hallelujah hallelujah one of the worst case scenario that i can recall in the bible amen hallelujah the bible declares in the book of ezekiel 37 amen the bible said there was a valley that was full of dry bones and it looks hopeless and it seems hopeless it seems impossible it seems that it's beyond the point of return and some of us are at that point tonight we seem like we're at the point of no return hallelujah but when the man of God started prophesying to those bones, something started happening. A change began to take place. I don't know who God sent me to speak to tonight, but a change has been taking place in your life. You're getting ready to do the impossible. You're ready to go places that you've never been before. God is getting ready to move on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody lift your hands and give him a praise. Come on, open up your mouth and shout hallelujah to God be all of the glory tonight. Hallelujah, the situation started turning around. Bones begin to get connected, coming together. Hallelujah, and they did not just come together. Amen, but they found their matching bones and that was important because we need to find what we are supposed to be all about tonight. And when the prophet was finished prophesying, amen, in the very place where there was nothing, in the very place where things seemed to be out of whack, in the very place where things seemed that would never happen, oh God turned the situation situation around. I said God turned that situation around and in the place where there was nothing now stands a army a army of men standing up and ready to fight. Is there anybody tonight with a fight in your spirit, in a fight in your bosom come on, open up your mouth and give him a praise, give him a shout and give him a hallelujah. God is getting ready to do good on your behalf mm. hallelujah Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, something getting ready to change in my life. Give him praise and give him glory tonight. Because something is getting ready to change. It doesn't matter. You can't stop the change from coming. It's on the way. Hallelujah. I feel a turnaround in the atmosphere. I feel a turnaround anointing getting ready to hit this place. I feel a turnaround rising up in my spirit right now. Somebody's getting ready. Hallelujah. I'm getting a breakthrough right now. Somebody's getting amen free right now. Somebody amen mind has been changed right now. Hallelujah. Somebody's getting free in their body right now. Somebody's getting free free in their emotions right now somebody financial situation is turning around even as I speak right now because God is up to something new somebody marriage is turning around right now it was heading for the rocks amen but now it's heading for the rock that rock is Jesus I don't know who my preaching to tonight but somebody miracle amen hallelujah somebody miracle just came to pass in the name of Jesus oh somebody shout and give him a praise somebody shout and give him a praise somebody shout and give him a praise my brother my sister give him a praise give him a shout right now because it's getting ready to happen for you hallelujah i hear god says some healing somebody healing is coming to pass somebody healing amen somebody's getting healing in their body sickness is about to leave you you hear me my brother my sister sickness is about to leave you it's about to leave you COVID is getting ready to leave your body right now 
pain and discomfort is getting ready to leave your body right now. In the name of Jesus. I heard Jesus said, by his stripes we are ready healed. Is there anybody listening to me or watching me tonight who is getting ready for a deliverance and a breakthrough right now? Give him praise and give him glory. The anointing breaks every yoke. Hallelujah. And whatever you're going through tonight, it doesn't matter. God said, I'm sending change in your direction. And all you've got to do is embrace what God has already ordained. Hallelujah. Because who God bless, nobody can curse. Hallelujah. Your season is changing. Hallelujah. You have been in a COVID situation. You have been in a COVID season. And it looks like and feels like everything was dying in you and around you. But that devil is a liar tonight. But I hear the Lord saying a new season is on this way. Amen. It's a season of new beginning. It is a season. I prophesy a new season in the life of somebody listening or watching me right now. The place hallelujah where you are in the city in Toronto or wherever you are there is a new season that is coming in your way. Hallelujah. A new season is coming your way. Because I prophesy that doors are getting ready to open. I prophesy that doors are getting ready to open. I prophesy that new connections, new anointing, new fire, new job, new promotion, new avenues is getting ready. New things are getting ready to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. I prophesy change in your life right now in the name of Jesus. God is getting ready to move on your behalf. Ooh, hallelujah. New streams of income, new joy, new praise, new friends, new confidence, new strength, new fire. I don't know who God sent me to talk to tonight, but whoever you are tonight, God said to tell you, change is coming. Hallelujah. New help. Somebody better open up your mouth and declare, I'm healed, I'm delivered, and I've been set free in the name of Jesus. Somebody's going to go where you have never been before and do what you have never done before. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to take you into new places and to new areas of your life. Get ready to embrace the change that is coming in your direction. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to take a new step. Amen. Hallelujah. Into new territories. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Is there anybody ready to step into the out of the known, out of the old and step into the new tonight? Lift your hands and give him praise if you're getting ready to do it. Somebody needs to activate their faith tonight hallelujah right now and take a step amen a prophetic step in the name of Jesus take that step and that leap of faith and move where God wants you to move amen every step you take you're getting closer every step you take you're closer than you were yesterday amen take a prophetic step and move closer to where God has in store for you can I give him a praise and give him a shout out there or oh, somebody give him a praise hallelujah if you can't walk hallelujah you stamp your feet if you can't stamp your feet hallelujah wave your arms if you can't wave your arms amen nod your head but do something to let us know hallelujah hallelujah that you're on your way is there anybody on their way tonight give him a praise and give him a shout and give him a hallelujah Woo. hallelujah i want to talk to some people tonight hallelujah hallelujah who is standing on the edge of a miracle you're on the edge of your miracle. Hallelujah. And those who are watching me on Facebook and YouTube tonight uh, and listening to this message, you are standing amen, on the edge of a miracle, but you're at the dividing line between yes and no. You're between enough or more than enough. You're between struggling and stressing, between resting and blessing. That's where you are tonight. Between death and being debt free. That's where you are tonight. Between weeping and between choicing tonight. I don't know where you are tonight, but we're Wherever you are, you're on the brink of a miracle. You are right there at the crossroads. You can either go right or go left. The Bible says you have come past this mountain long enough. It's time for you to turn northwards. Now I want you to understand something. We have never heard anybody go up south. If you look at even how the compass is situated, the south is always on the bottom. And north is always on the top. So when God said turns northward, it means it's time for us to go up. That's why everybody goes up north. 
and they go down south. I wish I had a church here tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. You're standing on your miracle. Hallelujah. Just one step between empty and too much to handle. You are just one step away. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We have been at that place before. Hallelujah. And for some reason or another, we failed to pass over. But tonight, 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 we are crossing over in the name of Jesus. We are crossing over into a new direction and a new dimension tonight. But God sent me here, amen, to help you, to get you through, to push you over. Isaiah said, remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old, because behold, I do a new thing. And when God get me to do a new thing, it does a new thing into a new season. And the Bible says it shall spring forth. The scripture is telling us that God is doing something fresh and something new. But the conditions and the requirements of receiving the new, it, you have to get out of the old. I said, you've got to get out of the old. Oh, get out of the old stuff. Behold, I do a new thing, said the Lord. Consider not, don't consider the things of old. Don't worry about what happened last year, last month, next six months ago. This is a new season you're standing in right now. God, I prepare you for just such a time like this oh give him praise somebody somebody shout wherever you are tonight somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah to get the new you're going to have to separate yourselves from the old separate mentally you have to separate emotionally you got to separate physically You've got to separate, hallelujah, in every area of your life. In other words, you may have to even get new friends. Whatever it takes to get to the level, you've got to do it in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on up in the house and give him praise. Hallelujah. Good God from glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You've got to let go. You've got to forget about it. Amen. And whether it's good, whether it's bad, you got to say enough is enough. It's gone. It's over with. This is a new season. This is a new challenge. This is a new time. I'm about to embrace in the name of Jesus. There is an old saying that was always a bride made and never a bride. In other words, hallelujah, you're the one that is destined to do without you watch everybody else amen get theirs you watch everybody has been promoted you got everybody watch everybody has been prosper you got watch everybody has got into new level hallelujah you watch everybody has get married but you can't never be the bride hallelujah you just sit on the side and do without but that devil is a liar i come to change that narrative tonight this is your season my sister this is your season my brother this is your season i don't care who you are whatever church you attend this is your season whether you're catholic presbyterian baptist church of god it doesn't matter it is your season your season of change your season hallelujah give him praise and give him glory it is your season oh glory be to god because this is a season of change hallelujah i'm often reminded of the man at the pool and he has at the pool of bethesda and the Bible says he's been there for so long. Hallelujah. Amen. He's at the pool of Bethesda. Hallelujah. The pool of blessing. And he's this close. But can never get in. Some of you are this close to your miracle. This close to your breakthrough. This close to your breakthrough. This close to your turnaround. But for some reason, you just can't get over. But I come to declare tonight that that season is breaking tonight. And you are going to be able to walk into step into moving to what God has in store for you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. No doubt this man, hallelujah, I've watched many people got blessed. You have watched so many people, God bless. You have seen so many people stepped into that pool and got delivered, got healed, and he just couldn't make it. No doubt, it been for many years. Hallelujah. So many people came through. No doubt, I mean, the devil taunt him and played with his mind and said, you will never make it in that pool, no matter what. And he'd been there for 38 years. Can you imagine being out that long, trying to get one miracle for 38 years? Amen. And the devil still telling you, you'll never make it. You'll never get that miracle. Amen. But I want you to just shout and say, 
that devil is a liar. Oh, come on and shout and say that devil is a liar. Oh, shout and say that devil is a liar. Glory be to God. And that's what the devil is trying to do with you tonight. He's saying that some of you that are listening to me and watching me right now, you'll never get out of debt. He's telling you that COVID will never be over. But I prophesy that COVID is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. I prophesy this season that we have just came in was in for so long for one year and two to two months, 14 months already. It's coming to an end in the name of Jesus. You'll never, amen, going to be, amen, see your family say, but that devil is a liar. He's trying to tell you that you'll never have success in your marriage. That's what the devil is playing with your mind and telling you because you see your husband fooling around. You see your wife, all kind of foolishness is happening, but that devil is a liar tonight. Amen, your turn around, the situation is getting ready to turn around for you. And there's nothing the devil can do about it. He can only play with your mind and tell you it's not going to happen. But I decree and declare tonight that it's going to happen in Jesus' name. God will be the God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's trying to tell you that you're always going to struggle. You're going to struggle. You always is going to struggle. And to worry and to push and to pull. Just to make ends meet. But I hear God said, I'm going to make the ends meet. I'm going to bring everything together just like I did. Amen. In the valley of dry bone, I make everything come together and rise them up a mighty strong army. God is getting to rise up my brother, my sister right now. If you are ready for it, give him a praise and give him a shout right now. If you are ready for it, come on, give him a praise. Give him a shout right now, wherever you are. Don't just sit back. Take God at his word in the name of Jesus. Because while a man was there, one day Jesus just stopped by. According to he just stopped by. And Jesus didn't talk to him anything about the negative. He didn't ask him how long you've been here. He didn't ask him how come you didn't make it into the pool. Oh, none of that negative stuff. None of the past experience. None of the stuff that happened prior to in his life. He just asked him one simple question. Will thou be made whole? Is thou be made whole? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. And at that moment when that question was asked, there was not enough disease in the world. There was not enough COVID in the world to keep this man from reaching into the pool. There was not enough viruses or variants of concern to keep him sick. There was not enough poverty, amen, to keep him broke in the name of Jesus. When you get a word from God, nothing in this world can hold you back. And I hear God send a word, amen, to, the, to us this evening. It is a season of change. It is a new season. And if it's a new season, nothing should be able to hold you back from reaching where God wants you to reach. Oh, I wish I had a church to shout tonight. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, give him a praise and give him a shout. Hallelujah. Lift up the name of Jesus and give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There was not enough devil in hell. Or no two-legged devil was able to stop this man. Couldn't hold him bound anymore. He made a move and got himself into the pool. God is saying, whatever you're in this tonight, you just make to make a move. Wake one step at a time. Get yourself in there. The only one who can keep you, amen, out is yourself. The only one can stop you tonight is you. Nobody else can stop you but you. My brother, my sister, nobody can stop you. The devil can't stop you. He can mess with your mind, but he can't stop you. Only person can stop you is you. Make up your mind and say, I'm moving forward. I'm embracing a new season. I come to tell somebody tonight, the only one who can keep you from your blessing, no COVID, no coronavirus, no AstraZeneca, no nothing can keep you, amen, from your blessing. Only you can stop yourself. And if you're really unwilling tonight, hallelujah, hallelujah, you can move forward. God said he prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He has brought some of you in the spiritual. All you can, you have, God has given you a buffet. And said, I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He prepare a buffet for you. And all you do is walk around and look at the food. And you say, it looks good. 
tell you, it smells good. And you start to say, man, what would it be if we would just eat this stuff? This thing must have tasted so good because it looks so good. And it smells so good. But while you're there worried about smell and look, somebody walks in and starts eating. Eating the stuff that you've been smelling. Eating the stuff that you've been looking. Eating the stuff that you've been imagining. And you get upset because they eat what you've been looking at. I come to tell you tonight, don't let nobody eat what God put in front of you. He prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He's going to anoint your head with oil that your cup run over. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And how you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and forever. Oh, somebody praise him. Somebody lift up Jesus. Somebody give him a praise wherever you can tonight and whenever you can tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't get mad. Hallelujah. Because some people get mad because they got mad when they wanted and when they see, hallelujah, what was in front of them but they did not move when they were supposed to move and somebody just walk in and take what was amen, what was available, what was ready for them. I'm here to tell you this tonight that the Bible said the kingdom of God Suffered violence and the violence taken by food. You can't just sit there. You got to move yourself and usher yourself into a new season. You got to move in there with power. You got to move there with aggression. You got to move in there. Let the devil know I've had enough. I've had enough of COVID. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of that. I will deal with this no more. Enough is enough. Is there anybody can shout? Enough is enough. Hallelujah. For forty years. For forty years. For 40 years. 40 years. The first generation of the children of Israel wandered around in the wilderness for 40 years. Till all the doubters died off. Every doubter died off. Every person that says, we are not coming out of this, died. I'm here to talk to somebody who's saying that COVID is going to be forever. We are not staying in COVID. We are coming out of COVID. COVID was not meant for us in the name of Jesus. It might have been here now, but God said you're getting ready to come out. You're getting ready to move to another level. You're getting ready to move to another direction in the name of Jesus. God had a promised land prepared for us already. If you will receive it tonight, give him praise and give him glory. Hallelujah. They died all. Hallelujah. All of them that could not walk in what God told them, missed it because they would not move when it's time for them to move. And they did not want to pay the price. I believe that for every season, there's a price to pay. For every season, there's something happened to let you know that there is a new season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. But until now, you have been satisfied. Hallelujah. With just being close. I cannot just afford just to be close. I want to have more than what I have right now. I'm not satisfied with just being close next door. No, I want to be right smack in the midst of things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think about it. Amen. We sing about it. We think about it. But we never really embraced it. How many times we have sing the song, it's a new season, it's a new day. Fresh anointing is flowing my way. It's a season of power. It's a season of victory, but yet we still live like we're in all times. When it's a new season, when it's a new season, you're going to embrace it for what it is. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and give him praise. Hallelujah. Don't just sit there and dream about it. I'm telling you right now, it's time to move to it. Don't just sit there and wonder and hope, but move to it. You have a, you have a God-given right to move into a new season. You have come past this mountain long enough. You have been in this area too long. It's time for you to move to another level. You have been here and been there. Hallelujah. Circling the same mountain, going around the same thing. I was in church last week and I told the, the folks, hey amen, I've been here last year, this same time, with nobody in the churches to preach to. And here we are one year later. We are still in the same position. Glory be to God. Nobody to preach in the church. But that devil is a liar. There's a season that comes. Coming. There's a season that getting ready to open up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people are coming back into the church in the name of Jesus because we are beginning to pray and said enough is enough. It's time for change. It's time for change. It's time for change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have come past this mountain. 
it's just another way of saying it's time for change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who am I talking to tonight. But in the natural, when it's time for a season to change, you feel it. You can tell when it's winter before it gets to winter. It starts to get cool. You can tell that it's coming to spring before spring actually shows up. You see the grass start to turn green. The season speaks of itself before it even gets here. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And sometimes it's a tug of war going from one season to the next because sometimes uh, 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 winter seems to want to hang on. He doesn't want to give way to spring, but it doesn't matter how much winter wants to hang on at some point in time. It has to give way to spring because a new season has been ushered in. A new season is coming. And it doesn't matter how we want to hold on to summer, fall is going to come. Hallelujah. No matter how we like it or not, the season give way to the next season. And even though there's that tug of war. Amen. When one season give way to, the, to another, you just sit there. You can't just sit there and fold your arm and say, well, well what happened, happens. No, you're going to embrace the season that you're in. Hallelujah. You're going to dress for the season, work for the season, do everything you can in the season. Whatever season you find yourself in tonight, you got to do that season, work in that season in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, God said a new season to you. Stop holding on to the old season. Forget the old season. This is a new season. This is a season of change. Embrace it. Hold on to it. Hug it up if you have to. Whatever you got to do to make sure that you're in this season, do it in Jesus' name. You can't just sit there while hallelujah. They shut back up the churches. Open for two weeks, then they shut it again. Give us two months, and they shut it again. Then they give us two weeks, and then shut it again. And now they're extending it. We can't just sit there and be satisfied with this season. We gotta say, God, enough is enough, and bring us into a new season. We are supposed to be praying. I heard, I said, I heard the Spirit of God saying, It's time for a change. A change must come. The word said, turn until you turn. Your situation will never turn. Until you move to another level, you will always be at the same level. But if you, can, if you decide to move to a next level, no matter what is happening on this level, will not affect you anymore because you're at a different level. You're in a different season. Oh, glory be to God. Today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. I said, today is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the time where we must embrace what God has given us. God is saying it's time, amen, to quit circling the mountain. It's time to move on. Hallelujah. Their backs was up against where they're supposed to go. In other words, you're facing the wrong direction. And whenever you're facing the wrong direction, the only thing you can do is turn around. Hallelujah. The only thing you can do is turn around. And God sent me here tonight to tell you it's time for you to turn around because he's sending a turn around. And when God sends a turnaround, it simply means that God is turning them in the right place where they're supposed to be. We have been going through this thing too long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, I'm getting ready to put you back on the right path. The path of righteousness. The path of godliness. The path that leads, amen, unto salvation. This is where God is taking you tonight. The season that we have just coming out of, it was a rough season. A season of debts. Over the past 14 months, 3.7 million people died. Gone. Never to be seen again. We have never seen anything like this. But that season is coming to an end because this is a new season. This is a season of power. This is a season of victory. This is a season of new life. This is a season of new beginning. I don't know who am I talking to tonight, but my brother and sister, I'm talking to you right now. It's a season of change. 
Oh, somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise wherever you are. I'm talking to you over here and you over there and you over there. I'm talking to you wherever you are. It's a season of change. God is getting ready to do something that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Need to enter the hearts of men. What God has already prepared for us that love him tonight. It's a season. It's a season. It's a season of change. Embrace it. He has given it to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I'm getting ready to close tonight. But I'm here the Lord says. I hear the Lord says tonight. Whatever you are going through, whatever you have been through, the fact that you're still here means it was not designed to kill you. Whatever you're going through, whatever you have been through, the fact that you're still here is an indication that it was never designed to kill you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, this is your season to rise up. This is your season to stand up. This is your season to get up. This is your season to pay up. This is your season. Whatever you have to do, do it with all your might, with all of your strength, and with all of your power in the name of Jesus. And I get ready to go to my seat tonight. Hallelujah. The moment you turn, and the moment they turn, they are on their way to their promised land. Your promised land is awaiting right now. God bless you and God keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are here tonight, if you are watching me tonight, this is your season. This is your moment. I'm getting ready to go to my seat. This is not going to be long, but I'm Come inviting on, you tonight. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you don't know him as your Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Get to know him. For him to know his life eternal. Seek a friend before you need one tonight. My brother, my sister. Amen. As my brother is getting ready to come tonight. If you're here. If you're watching me tonight. Hallelujah. This is your season. This is your time. My brother, my sister. Yes, sir. You with a, you with a cigarette in your hand. Yes. You that is watching me. You that your wife that says, you got to watch this thing with me. I'm talking to you. Yes, my sister. The one who is sitting on the couch right now, frustrated. You don't know where your husband is. God said, this is a season of change. Hallelujah. It's getting ready to happen in your life even as we speak in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I invite you to get to know him. Come to Jesus. Get to know him tonight. And watch him take full control of your life. Hallelujah. Bow your heads wherever you are. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, oh God, I speak now to my brother to, and to my sister who's watching me. Somebody in England. Somebody in the Caribbean. Somebody right here in the city of Toronto who's struggling right now. They seem to be in an everlasting cycle of going around the mountain but your word to us tonight says we have circled this mountain long enough and it's time for us to turn north in other words move up I speak to my sister my brother who's moving up right now in their spirit who's accepting you as the Lord in their lives who's giving you a chance for a second and for a third around right now bless them now I pray in Jesus' name amen and amen. May the Lord bless you real good. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you with the love of the Lord. This is Pastor Records, your bishop, your pastor, your friend. I'm also praying saying, God bless. This is your season. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're watching today, say these words after me. Enough is enough. Let us do a turnaround. I am about to rise. In fact, I will be rising. And also, you heard a word that says, embrace this season that we are in. Also, the man of God says, hold on to your season. Hold on to the season that you are in. You know what? Sometimes we are battling so much with ourselves. But it's time to say to ourselves, enough is enough. And let us move to a new level. What new level are we moving towards? It's a season of power. But now... Let us say to ourselves, we are moving by faith 
into the next season right so we're gonna bring back cord and bar to do a last song for us but i like us those of us who are watching please share because there's someone somewhere that needs to hear this word of god so guess what i want you to watch keep watching keep sharing as minister bar cord and barrett comes back to sing another song and then we'll be closing god bless you This should be the desire of your heart. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor, we give you glory. This is my desire to honor. And Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. And
Hallelujah. You are all I want. Not the system. Because if we have the Lord, then we have everything. So right here, every Saturday, in your homes, on your mobiles, or your laptops, or even your TV, right here at Gospel Faith TV, every Saturday at 7 p.m., we're waiting for you to bring change in your homes may god bless you richly and see you again next week right here 